for a specific titanium aluminum alloy of which you can get any material property from the manufacturer's website, what would the length of a surface crack be so that the material actually cracks before yielding? Assume that the modification factor beta or capital Y has already been found to be 1.35 from experimental testing. This is the second example for the fracture toughness main video, link below. The link to example 1 is also in the video description. If the component was to fail because of plastic deformation or yielding, it would be because the stress overcame the yield strength. If we want to find the length of the surface crack, not an internal crack, for which the component will fail due to fracture, we know we're solving for the crack length A for when the stress intensity factor equals or exceeds the fracture toughness of the material. This means that we need the fracture toughness and yield strength information, which can be looked up online as previously mentioned. If the component fails when the stress exceeds the yield strength, we know that the highest value of the stress we can subject this part to, without it yielding, would be equal to the yield strength. Anything higher than SY would make the material fail due to yielding. Solving for A in this inequality shows us that A has to be at least 2.8 millimeters in length. Any cracks smaller than 2.8 millimeters would allow a stress greater than the yield strength and not cause any fracture, which means that the material would be deforming plastically before breaking. Thanks for watching.